Welcome, and welcome back, everybody, to the OK Grognard Show. Today is Monday, November 13th, 2023, 10 a.m. Central in beautiful Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. And today we're going to talk just a very little bit about Dungeon, the board game. The David McGarry game, the game he invented around the same time that Dave Arneson was coming up with the proto-rules for Dungeons & Dragons, which Gary Gygax then was introduced to and uh, formed into what became Dungeons & Dragons. Of course, uh, the story's probably pretty well known by now that they came down and uh, talked to Gary. I'll put a link in the show notes to a um, a uh, video on which Dave McGarry kind of tells that story. It's an interesting one. It's also one that uh, has been shared around a bit, but I wonder where... Oh, yeah, 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 that's all over in the Second Sunday group. So I've got some cool pictures, too, that uh, Vince and I took yesterday at the event, which I want to share. Oh, I'm going to close that out. There's so much to do here, and I'm running so late. I'm, I apologize. I'm Started the show up five minutes late. I just had extra things to do that kept me from jumping on immediately in the morning. But we all know how that is. Not that uh, <laughs> not that immediately in the morning is uh, in any way. What five minutes after 10 is. Welcome to George and Vince in the chat. I see you're both there. Vince uh, Vince stepped up to run the afternoon slot for Second Sunday. And uh, he had two tables of, of dungeon going at the store, which was great. A lot of people who had never played before. I think a couple of people had played earlier editions but hadn't played this uh, sixth edition, which has been around since, I want to say, 2014. So that's fantastic, too. Well, let me see. What did we have? Oh, I had I had uh, mentioned to people. I posted up in the second Sunday forum on the OSR at LGG on Facebook. Uh, a couple few weeks ago that Vince was going to do this and then posted up a reminder on Saturday. I'm excited about Dungeon. Vince would be running it. I uh, posted some picture or a picture that I had taken of Dave's displays. This was a picture from 2012. Well, no, this was still at the Ridge, so it had to be more than... Yeah, it might have been the last year at the Ridge. And uh, it includes a couple of uh, cases that he takes with him to show off the prototype versions of the dungeon board game and a couple of the earlier editions of it, or earliest editions of it, a couple of printings, which came in a much bigger box. The original had a much bigger board, as you can see from the ones inside the cases, the rooms are all large enough that you could uh, place the monster cards in the actual rooms. And uh, they would remain there until they were killed, of course. Now you place them off to the side, which is just as convenient. You put a number token in the room and put them on the corresponding number on the edge of the board. And it's uh, 
probably a bit more convenient to do that because you can actually review all the monsters that are in various rooms. Look for one you can knock off since that's knowledge that gets spread around. And then, uh, and then seek them out and destroy them. Anyway, I'd mentioned this to, or I'd uh, posted this video, which I will absolutely share in the show notes. And I had pinged Dave about the fact that he and uh, he and uh, Dave Arneson had brought dungeon down to Gary's attention the same time they were talking Dungeons and Dragons and noted there were a couple of a couple of uh, places oh here it is okay thanks for the praise yeah yeah I praised it Dave McGarry jumped in and uh, mentioned that he and he and uh Dave Arneson had visited Gary in February of 1973, not November 1972. He had uh, mentioned a different date in the video, but it's still all to say that the Dungeon board game was in the works to be produced formally by TSR even before, even before, uh, Dungeons and Dragons was formally finalized and put out. And so, either one could have happened first. They were both uh, both put together based off of the same gameplay, the same proto-rules that were being uh, bandied about in Minnesota. And uh, what we got was both of them kind of divergent hmm. sorry I had to look for something there uh, kind of divergent halves of the same type of gaming and both of them uh, fantastic here's some pictures that I posted from the gameplay at uh, Lake Geneva. I'll also post, there's uh, Vince with his dungeon shirt on with a crowd of enthusiastic players. I am going to also get this other set of pictures that Vincent posted. Here we go. Lovely wide shot. There's Jason in the background, the owner of the store. He's running the. He's working on some uh, a collection, a card collection back there. Oop, going too fast. There's Stephanie in the middle there. She's in one of my games. Oh, there's Jade explaining to Jason that uh, we're out of dungeon board games. We've sold every copy, and it's all we can do. There's uh, the boxes in the background. A lovely group. And uh, a nice overview picture of the board. You can see on the far end of the board there, that's where you put the monsters that are still in rooms that have not yet been defeated, so you can go back and visit them. And uh, take a, take the treasure that might have been dropped by players that tried and were defeated themselves. These uh, pile of cards on the far side of this board are the uh, rooms and corresponding treasures or level rooms. And on this side, and with this board, is where the undefeated monsters are. Looks like some uh, some treasure. Hey, why don't you give me a quote, Vince, about the uh, about who won what here? We've got a uh, we've got a beholder. We've got some Feywild honey, 
and we've got a Dungeons and Dragons mug. Those are lovely. And what's that? There's a miniature there. Is that pewter? Looks pretty fancy. And what's that below that with the dragon's face? It looks like an embossed box or a book or something. I'm not even sure. Go ahead and uh, tell me in the chat and I'll read out whatever you post there. And then everyone will know of all the cool stuff you put in there. Because it is nifty. And it needs to be appreciated, I say. I say. I'll straighten out my windows here. Oh, yep, i got to save that for later. There we go. I hope Vince is uh, furiously typing along here. Um, let me say this also, though, that uh, Dave runs those games... Of Dungeon and gives a little talk on the um, on how Dungeon came to be at GaryCon every year. I think he's also going to be doing this up at DaveCon, um, a uh, annual I think September, October, when Dave's birthday around Dave's birthday they have a um, convention in Minnesota to commemorate Dave Arneson's. Uh, Dave Arneson's contributions to gaming and particularly to the to the um, uh, origins of Dungeons and Dragons and Dungeon Board Game, let's say that, because he played in the early ones too, but Dave McGarry uh, hopefully does some stuff up there or will be doing some stuff with their convention as well. Um it's wonderful to uh, to hear him talk about those origins and to see that all coming to be. Oop, clock on the wall is saying I'm going over. Hey, listen, those prizes were nifty, and I think that was wonderful that they were given away. I hear Stephanie was the big winner of the uh, games yesterday. I look forward to reading more about that in the groups, and hopefully folks will do that as well. If you're in the area... We're going to be in the area. Join that second Sunday, the OSR at LGG. That's Lake Geneva Games. And uh, get in on some future gaming on second Sundays. It goes all day. Ken runs a second slot. He runs an Osric first edition game. Vince has posted. He says prizes were a golden dragon book. Some Fey Honey dice. Oh, there's dice in there. Okay, cool. A Beholder miniature. A Witch King type of mini and a D&D &D mug. Stephanie walked away with the book and the mug. Kevin, who was the middle right on the uh, on the other table, Kevin won the Beholder Mini, and Deborah won a dungeon board game. Oh, that's so cool. Winning the game itself. Great job, Vince. Much appreciated. Your, uh, your efforts made for a, an incredibly fun day for a whole bunch of excellent gamers. And uh, what could be better, especially this year, 2023, since uh, the game was first uh, brought to Lake Geneva in 1973. This makes it the, the uh, 50th anniversary since it made its a debut in Lake Geneva, even though it would not quite get published for uh, a couple of years till after D and D came out in seventy four, and the game Dungeon would be published in seventy five. Uh, the idea was um, sell the booklets. We'll try to make some money off of that Dungeons and Dragons rule set in booklets, like we already do with rules booklets, so that we can make enough money to be able to afford to make a board game with components and all of that because that's expensive. We might not make a, a lot, but hopefully we'll make enough. <laughs> and with the rest is history. So, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll leave a uh, link to that video and you can check out Dave's From the Horse's Mouth uh, descriptions of what went on and, and it'll be fun. Thank you, Vince. Thank you, George. Thank you, everybody, for checking out the show today it is greatly appreciated and 
I hope to see you again soon. That's been uh, talk about the Dungeon Board Game, especially what happened yesterday, uh, second Sunday at Lake Geneva Games. Oop, is this going to work? I hope it's going to work. There it is, Dungeon Board Game. Ah, the show streams live on Twitch each Monday at 10 a.m. Central, and then it's archived on YouTube. Like, follow, all the other stuff, and be appreciated. Comment if you will. Thanks to our supporters, Tom Tullis of Fat Dragon Games, Carlos Lysing of Castle Entertainment, Heath Barnden of the Antipod and D20, Dave O'Brien of Four Cracks Games, and as always, Shane Bradley, DM Extraordinaire. This has been the OK Grognard Show from beautiful Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Thank you, and bye-bye. <laughs>